interesting to listen to all the presentation. I missed, I think, the one or two presentations in the second panel. But uh, uh, it is definitely, I think the problems are well known. Every speaker has alluded to most of the issues that one can talk about. But uh, what I think uh, is important is that we need to make a start. And I think you've also made a very, very important point that we need more and more people coming into the ocean domain and the water domain to kind of take this forward. So I would propose uh, probably five points quickly. One is a user academy industry partnership. Typically what happens is that we fail to get the ecosystem right. Either it is too policy heavy or it is too uh, business heavy or you know whatever. So how do we bring a user academy industry partnership where people seamlessly collaborate and work with each other. Developing economies uh, will have a lot of difficulty in terms of, you know, balancing the budget. Uh, I mean, uh, a previous speaker also mentioned that the government should do this or government should do that. But the government also has a limitation in terms of balancing. And I think private entities like us need to also kind of contribute in giving the policy suggestions or doing the policy advocacy. And that's why uh, entities like us we are in the private sector, but we have a good uh, uh, kind of collaboration or the coordination with the government. We have an MOU with most of the important government authorities, and we are kind of complementing their efforts in taking this forward. So many such entities will be required focused on specific issues to be able to do a proper justice. I mean, what we typically need is policy and technology intervention along with capacity building. Sometimes this balance is lost and, you know, in the long term, we are not able to sustain programs. I mean, whether you start with a pilot project or you start something big, but unless that project is sustained, I mean, I have seen uh, uh, many institutions in India as well. I mean, uh, very well-meaning and a good start, but, you know, can't sustain because of certain deficiencies. Uh, we must also kind of keep in mind the consolidation versus diversity. I mean, these places are very unique. I mean, typically what has happened in this part of the world, which is a tropical uh, littoral conditions are not very well understood. And that's how, you know, when we try to import technologies from the West, they do not work in our waters. And that I think we have to, when we collaborate, we have to have equal partnership. I mean, equal partnership in the sense, the participation has to be extremely equal. Many times I find that many organizations feel that, you know, say, suppose I collaborate with a French entity. I mean, I have to have equal part, uh, uh, participation because the French entity will not have the bandwidth to come and do things here. They can give us certain support, but it has to be at the local organization which has to take things forward. So I think there are many aspects and I think the financing aspect has been very uh, repeatedly being brought out. Uh, blue bonds is something we are working on now. I mean, we don't expect the government to support us in every way possible. We also have to have, have to raise money. I mean, and kind of go out there and convince uh, the investment uh, uh, group to make sure that and when an investor puts money, he also wants return on investment. So how do we build such models which are sustainable, which are not drained to the resources completely? And, uh, you know, uh, even, uh, you know, uh, sustainable entrepreneurship is also something which has to generate certain returns. How do we make it attractive? That requires innovation. And I think uh, we are happy to collaborate in whatever way possible. Uh, we are focused on the underwater domain awareness framework. But underwater domain awareness is, I think, if somebody understands it well, it's a huge area. I mean, we are not only looking at the sea, but we are also looking at the uh, freshwater systems. I particularly belong to Assam, which is very close to Bangladesh. So we are doing a lot of work on the Brahmaputra. I mean, we have to have a comprehensive approach, but not lose out on the diversity or the unique characteristics of the local conditions. So I think I will end here. Uh, I'm happy to collaborate with, I mean, the participants here or many organizations. I request you to have a look at our website. Uh, we have uh, done a bit of work and we're happy to collaborate with everybody. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Arnab. I remind everyone you're the director of the Maritime Research Center in India. Uh, yes, very, very quickly. Uh, Thank you for mentioning sustainability. Thank you for mentioning, uh, I mean, of action. 
sustainability versus diversity. And what you mentioned about, in a sense, not going just through technology transfer, but co-innovation uh, is not only just like in the in the in the in the air these days and uh, in fashion and etc. But is absolutely essential for uh, environment ecosystem are different across latitudes. That's 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 uh, that's a fact. Biologists and ecosystem people have known for long, um, and and we've had this beginning of a conversation. Let me share that with you all, as we're in a closed door anyway with what we call the maritime cluster in France, which gathers the key companies, the chambers of commerce, and the, the technical institutes and technical companies and, and, and innovation centers. Uh, what you said, Arnab, about uh, uh, this collaboration where uh, locally uh, the capacity to scale up and the capacity to feed in uh, and adapt technologies is there uh, as organizations from France might not have the bandwidth to necessarily do that, all of them, uh, calls for a, a future sharing of, of work and ambitions here. Yeah. Uh, we're planning to put that into our next workshop uh, and, to, and to focus on that as well. So thank you, Anna, for your, uh, for, for, for your uh, uh, contribution.